welcome to another video by the photography team. Nathan's behind the camera this time and I'm in the front with my lovely little Hasselblad 500CM here. Um, I've got the film in this, I've got some Portra 400. Uh, I've got the 80mm Zeiss planner on the front and we've got a prism viewfinder in uh, today. Uh, this little cable going all the way down and through is going to sync to the Godox AED 600BM which we're using as a sort of studio light setup today just to show you how we're doing it. Um, we've got, well, we're going to have Nathan sit in the corner and we're going to have this all taking a photo at f8 and we've synced this up to 200, uh, two, what? 1 over 250 for a second uh, and because the shutter is inside the lens on this it will actually go all the way up to the 1 1 500th um, which is uh, the top one for this lens uh, so the whole thing we've done already we've set up the lights here into the corner uh, for Nathan uh, it should all be set for f8 uh, and then we could be able to shutter away the release here we could do it without this um, it's going to be quick enough and hopefully we'll get some nice studio light shots on the film. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Hello, I'm Nathan from the photography team. Uh, the way we've metered this shot today is by using the Sekonic uh, L308S flash meter. Now, the way you use this is you input the um, shutter speed, which today we're using 1 250th of a second. You set the ISO. We're using Portra 400 uh, in the Hasselblad today, so that's set to 400. Now what we'll do is I will get in the position, we'll fire off the flash, and that should give us the respective f-stop of the uh, power of the light. So we'll get into the position where I'm going to be, then we'll trigger the flash. And that's given us a aperture of f8. So we now know that if we set the camera up to 1 to 50th of a second, at ISO 400 with a shutter, with a aperture of f8 we should get a perfect exposure so what we're going to do now is take that shot and just to explain front of the um, Hasselblad we've got f8 250th so this is your shutter ring this is your aperture ring and back here we've got the focus so this should all be ready and set up the sync cables in let's we'll see how we get on Right, so this is the actual viewfinder in the Hasselblad, and you can see a, a cross over it. Um, we couldn't quite find a model today, so you've got Nathan to put up with. Um, so if I now shutter, you'll see all of this go dark um, as all the um, shutter goes across. It's all set up, it's all wound on. I've got some nice white lights telling me I'm ready to go on the side of the Hasselblad. So fingers crossed, you'll hear the beep on the light go. So here we go. Ready, Nathan, to smile? Thank you. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> There we go, went dark, and hopefully we'll have a picture once we've developed to show you. So we've just taken a shot of Nathan, uh, and this is the side of the uh, Hasselblad 500CM. Um, down here you've got two little windows that are both red. Uh, this is the film back and this is the body of the Hasselblad. Um, what I need is white in there to tell me that one, the film's rolled on and that everything's been reset by the mirror uh, and the shutter and everything in here. And the way this beautiful camera's made is, flip this over, wind it on and you'll see everything start to move over. So we've gone to number eight. We're getting a white window appear in the film back and a white window appear in the body. That is lovely clicked in, can't go any further. Flip that back, we're ready to take a photo. So the Hasselblad's now all set. We've got lovely white windows. Uh, I'm on photo eight. This is a 12 back. Um, so I've got a couple more left. So the idea now, everything's set up. We've got Nathan now standing up, like we said before, we can't find a better looking model for Nathan stood in. Uh, camera's all set up, lights set up. So I'm gonna now just take a quick photo of Nathan uh, as a sort of bit of a portrait. Um, see how this comes out. So, Let's get up and close, look through here, we get the focus in on, and hopefully we'll be able to develop these and show you what the picture will come out like. Okay, smile Nathan when you're ready. Lovely! Okay, so we're going to change the viewfinder uh, on the Hasselblad, just going to try and do a product shot of the Leica over here with the lovely barbershop moustache 
um, strap on it, which Barbershop lovingly sent us. Um, so we're going to do some product shots. So to do that, we're going to put the uh, waist level viewfinder, which means I have to take this off. But to take this off, I have to take the back off. Uh, the beauty of this is I can take it off um, and you can have multiple backs or even digital backs as well. But to do that, we've got the dark slide here and the dark slide needs to go in here. And what that does is go straight across the um, plane of the film sitting at the back here and it won't actually let me take this off unless that's in. That's how clever this is. So if I just show you, if I take this out, the little button just under here, if I move that, it won't actually come off. I can't physically now take that off. If I now put this in and now move that, there we go. So that's the back with the dark slide in. And you can see all the mechanisms here to when you wind the film on, which we're um, already wound on, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, so now, just to take this off, we literally slide back, and that's the uh, prism finder. There's the uh, focusing glass. Now this is the uh, waist level um, viewfinder for the Hasselblad. So that literally slides back over the top, and we get the film back. Pop those on the two lugs down there, and just. Pop it on, there we go. Lift that up, and we've got the waist level viewfinder. Okay, so the waist level viewfinder's now in. Nathan's all uh, set up here, just adjusting the um, focus for the Leica, and hopefully we'll have a nice uh, product shot. Okay, so we're now on 12, and we've got two red lights. We've just taken the last photo for this, um, this film. And as I now wind on, you can see it go to black. That's gone to black, but that's lovely and wound on. So what I'm now going to do is put the dark slide back in so I can take the back off. This has also gone all red as well to show that the film's gone all the way through. Loads of engineering in this, really cleverly thought out. And there is actually two sides to this dark slide. You can see a little rounded edge this way. And as you push that in, that will actually go against that. So if you put it in the other way, it's just easier for when you take the back off. The back's off. Now we need to actually get the film out. So what we do is pick this up and wind it on. And it'll go loose once it's actually wound all the way through. There we go. It's gone nice and loose. Pop that back. Bring it around to here. And this is why we do it this way. So as I now take this off and do it, it doesn't take the dark side with it. If I was to put that the other way around, that lip would catch on this bit. So turn that like that, pull, dark slide stays there. And you can see on the film, it's lovely round and round. There's a little rocker here, so this pushes up and down and rocks. So just need to lift that up on film. And you can see we've been using the Portra 400. Now with this, all you need to do is lick across there and stick it down. So, lick, push it all around, ready for developing.